Covering Shelby County, the sheriff says now is the time to start planning your trick-or-treating route even eight days before Halloween. Yeah, our Hannah Ward explains why these extra steps could make you safer. Before your little ghost and goblins go running up door to door throughout the neighborhood searching for their favorite candy, there's some things that you want to know to make sure that the person on the other end of that door is going to keep your kids safe. Deputies ask that you walk up to the door with your child. While walking the neighborhoods, make sure your child is holding something that lights up or has reflectors on their costume. The sheriff's office wants parents to know that they are going to have extra patrols out to make sure people are not speeding, but they need parents to do their part too. Make sure that you inspect your children's candy to make sure that there's no signs of tampering. Make sure that the uh, wrappers appear to be wrapped tightly around it and haven't been tampered with. Another tip is to map out your trick-or-treating route. Make sure there are sidewalks, street lights, and no registered sex offenders. On the Shelby County Sheriff's Office website, you can actually go on there and type in your location and see where registered sex offenders are according to that location. For that exact link, head on over to our WBRC News app. In Shelby County, Hannah Ward, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. A 